the artwork. What's interesting now with um, all of the Fox Populi project is that it's become this two-part, you, you split it apart in a sense. Mm -hmm. There is the federated research part that is very much, it's going to build on the Tower of Cinema and public engagement. And then there is the more controlled environment <coughs> of creating the work. Can you talk about how those, how, how you, um, how you work with those two arms of your, of your project? Um, so, I mean, it's a very overwhelming project. It's kind of, you know, it's pretty, uh, I think, ambitious to even think I can do this. But um, I, it's almost for the work to actually happen. I've had to think about how to break down the project mm -hmm. to actually be able to move forward and to get something, you know, to, to, to make something happen and work. So ultimately and hopefully, almost these two projects should be kind of connected except that the technology and the, 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 the timing of working with a large community, the, I'm also alone, I'm not a foundation doing this. So, so there is, um, you know, there, it's, a, it's a lot of steps in, for, for, for each aspect of the project and the parts within these, uh, these two main parts um, to actually uh, schedule and kind of lay ahead. So I've had to do this almost to be able to even uh, work a way through uh, so I th I'm, I'm hoping that at one point these two will become uh, connected somehow, uh, but I'm seeing that this will be work that sort of, you know, parts of the, the, the work that have to be done in, in parallel and, um, and that have to be uh, thought through almost together, but also separately. So the, the, the narrative, you know, the part of the narrative, uh, ideally, if this federated research would already be uh, taking place and that uh, it was already established uh, technically, um, then it would be extraordinary and fascinating to be able to kind of invite an audience into filling an architectural frame that sort of um, uh, uh, visualizes the timeline of the revolution, but with the interactivity aspect, which is that the user would be part of the storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to be able to sort of re-experience something or at least spread that frequency that you know, we, we experience in Tahrir because I don't think it's over. And I don't think that frequency actually dies. It only dies if we make it die. Right. Um, so, so hopefully this will be kind of put together again at the later stage. When you talk about